Dreamshift deploys a multi-policy RTL linting sign-off methodology where we only need one real intent essence entrant to identify all issues across the design's entire hierarchy. Dreamshift's SSCs are highly complex, consisting of internal and third-party IP that were developed using different coding rules. Our multi-policy linting approach checks our new IP with our full rule set, while only checking our pre-existing and third-party IP for design integrity and connectivity issues, which we would miss if they were blackboxed. Our workflow steps are, first, we define our SOC level master rule set. This covers all of our current SOC guidelines. We enable this entire rule set for the SOC level and for our more recently developed internal IP. Next, for older internal IP and third-party IP, we just added able policy subsets such as naming styles. We then run ascent with RTL linting sign. -up. Its runtime is only 16 minutes for our entire SOC, which includes several processes. This graphic shows a representative design hierarchy. SOC refers to the top-level SOC where our master rule set is enabled. By default, that rule set is inherited by the entire subsystem. We then exclude rules such as stylistic rules, which don't impact functionality. For example, for module D, we disable rules number one, number two, and number four, which also applies to its submodules G and H. Note that module G has also rule number three disabled from hierarchy B. For module H, we then re-enable tool number two and disable an additional rule number five. Here's an example of a connectivity error that Ascendant found. It identified a bit width mismatch for an IP that was configured using incorrect parameter settings. Dreamship now signs off with less engineering effort because we only do one SOC level run across the entire design model. Our engineers no longer need to review and wait violations for rules that don't apply or do separate IP windows. Please see the article below for more details. Thank you.